Hi, I'm Brandon from Raven's Moon and our new company, Envy. Um, been in Russia now uh, almost three and a half years. We were the first American company to come over here with our hardware. Um, you might know us from our big block, our cam mod, uh, we did the box mod, the high-end box mod, um, and then we released our juice line here last year, uh, the Raven's Moon juice line. We have four juice lines here now. We have the original one, which is the red box. We have our Winter is Coming, which is our uh, blue box. It has four flavors. We have Popsy Toot, and then we also have our alcohol baseline. Um, and we also, I did a collaboration with four other American modders, um, some of the top modders in the United States, and we've got a whole bunch of new products coming out, and we're releasing um, seven of them here at ECC, or at <laughs> Apex. So we actually released them at ECC last weekend. Um, we're bringing them here this week, so um, hopefully they'll be in stores um, next week. Uh, for you guys um, and we're just going to kind of go over what we're what we're doing and um, kind of go from there so I know you've got some questions um, it's grown quite a bit um, I see what, what I do like here and I've told there, there's a lot of American companies coming here right now um, and one of the reasons is probably when I go back I tell them that the Russian people are very excited about vaping and very friendly um, in the States, it's not quite like this anymore. Um, the industry's changed over there. But if, you know, if you've been in the industry for a long time, which a lot of the companies coming over here now have been, they kind of remember what the old days of vaping. And um, it's funny when you meet the people at the shows and you go to, this, to the shops like this, um, the people are very genuine and very excited to meet you and excited to look at the products. And they're excited about vaping in general. So um, it's grown a lot here. There's a lot more people involved, but it hasn't got um, old. Like everyone's still excited about everything. And they get, you say, what do you have new? And you show them, they're like, oh my God, it's so fun. So um, from a modern perspective, when you try to create something, you kind of put your heart and soul into it. And when you show somebody and they go, oh yeah, that's cool. And they just use it. It's like, okay, that's fine. But when they get excited about it, you kind of feel like you helped them out that day. So it's, it's, it's very fun. So when I go back to, to the States, um, they all know that I've been here forever. And they always ask, what's Russia like? You know, because, you know, the United States and Russia, you know, Hillary and all, you know. I'm like, the people there are wonderful. Um, it's one of my favorite places to go to. Um, of all the places in the world, I like coming to Russia the best. Um, just because the, the community here is really a community and they really kind of um, enjoy the, the hobby of vaping. So um, it's gotten a lot bigger, but it, it's still, like I said, it's still one of the friendliest, funnest places to be in the vaping community, in my opinion. It affects it um, just from an innovation standpoint. So what happened is, is um, like the new company that I formed with the other four modders, um, we came out with 35 products. All of them had to be done by August 8th. So once August 8th hit, we can't do any more products. We can't make them any better. What we have is what we have. Um, so for other parts of the world, we can still improve on our products. So we could say, oh, this should be like this now. We can't sell that in the United States. So in places like Russia and Asia, other countries, even Europe some, to a certain extent, you guys can end up getting better products than they get in the United States now because of the regulations from the FDA. So it's kind of ironic being is that where I'm from, Southern California, is kind of the hub of all the vaping world. A year from now, you will have better products in Russia than you will have in America because we can't do it there anymore. They can only sell what we did three months ago. Next year, you guys can get brand new stuff or improvements on our other stuff that we can't have back in the United States. Oh uh, no, you can't. It has to be registered. So when, when the products come in now um, from other countries, they have to have already been registered. So other products can't come into the United States. So now, right now, the United States will have a year from now, they will have the worst products on the market. Everybody else will be able to keep improving and getting better and better products, but you can't bring it into the United States anymore. Yeah, it's, it's silly, but not quality, um, but innovation. So we, we did, between the four of us, we got together um, in May. 
and we started working on designs and we came out with 35 products before August 8th. So we're releasing them depending on how the market's going because you know, as you know the market changes over time. So it's box mods, it's tube mods, it's closed systems, it's box mods again, and it's two. I mean, so we've got all kinds, it's RDAs, it's tanks, it's all kinds of different things that become popular. So we, we came out with 35 different products, and in doing so, we're able to kind of release our products um, based on what the market's doing. Um, but it hasn't affected the quality, just, you know, sometimes you come out with a product and then you use it for six months and you go, I wish this was like this. Well, we can do that for export, but we can't do that in the States. So if we come up with something and say, oh, this should be better because of this, you guys can get it here. We just can't sell it in the States anymore. Not right now because it hasn't, it hasn't happened. Um, and a lot of the laws are being fought in the courts right now. So we don't really know what the result's gonna be. Um, but right now it's just, the, everyone's released all these products on August 8th, um, so there's still a lot of new stuff up in the air. Um, I feel that the stuff we've um, put out is the best in the market, and um, last week was ECC, which is the largest show in the United States, and um, we sold out of everything. I mean, we had to, like, some of the products we sold out in the first hour of the show. Um, so that was a good sign. People, you know, we wanted to kind of feedback. Um, and uh, people really enjoyed what they're seeing and so I brought some of it with us here and we've shown some people around here and it's funny says a bunch of people have come up to me and said did you bring it did you bring it and I'm like yeah I brought it and they're all excited and they wanted to see it and that's why I love coming to Russia because you have that excitement like did you do it did you you know and so it's enjoyable to you know see the excitement and the energy um, that's lacking in some of the other areas my background's always been hardware it's been my passion. We did juice because I, I, I have certain flavors that I liked. Alex had flavors that he liked. And so we were, you know, trying to get into the juice game. Alex came out of the juice market. That's where his specialty was. But my, my heart has always been in hardware because it's engineering, it's design, it's making things function and look good at the same time. And so um, a friend of mine called me in May and said, hey, we're wanting to put together a collaboration of modders, um, some of the top people in the whole world, and um, you know, would you want to be a part of it? And I said, Who's, who are you talking about? And um, it was him, and uh, his name is Aldrich, and he's done lots and lots of designs that most people have no idea. Um, it was Jacob from Loch Ness Box Mods. He does handmade custom wood box mods. Um, his box mods, if you want to buy one, runs anywhere from four to twelve thousand um, dollars. Super beautiful work. And then it was Jose from Mystic Atmos. All of us have been in the business for almost four years individually. And I said, those are the four people. I said, absolutely, I'm in. Because there's certain people you get along with, certain people you know are hard to work with. Um, it doesn't mean they're bad people, it just means they're hard to get along with. And uh, there were three great people, and I'm like, absolutely, I'm in, what, you know? And he's like, all right, let's, let's get to work. And uh, like I said, we were able to come up with um, 35 products. We have seven that are in full production right now. Um, we have a box mod, which is the Loch Ness box mod, which is this one right here. It's a 150 watt box mod, dual 18650, temp control, dual wire temp control, um, it, I'm not, I'm not into the crazy, Aldrich who's my partner is an electrical engineer. He's got all kinds of crazy stuff in this thing. I mean, all the people that sit there and want, like, want to just dial it, like, you can make it do anything but run your car. It's crazy. Um, and so we've come out with that. We've got a pod system now, which is a closed system, um, which is called the Fit, um, which is kind of really popular in the United States right now. Um, and at the, the last show we were just at, we sold out of all of that. Um, we've got a new tank called our Terra tank, which is an eight coil rebuildable tank. Holds five mils of juice. It's rated up to 350 watts. Um, this will blow bigger clouds. This would fill this room with a cloud on two hits. You couldn't see. Um, it's crazy. Um, but it's also versatile. So it comes with eight coils but you can use one coil in it 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight coils, and anybody can build it because it comes with pre-built coils. It's just a spring. There's no pulling wires, there's no wrapping wires. It's a spring that just pops in. Um, so it's a completely different design. Everybody that's seen this tank has been like, what did you do? And why hasn't it always been that way? It's kind of like, duh, right? I mean, it, it's just funny when you, when you look at something, when you make something completely different and better, you kind of look at everything we've all done in the past and went, why were we always doing it like that? This is so much better and so much easier. I'm not kidding. We, um, at the last show we were at, uh, somebody came to the show, they bought 10 of them, took it back to his shop, sold all 10 that night. It was a 68-year-old 68, 68 lady bought one, right? Was blowing clouds, 68, 68 years old and she could, re she could rebuild it. So it's not like it's just for the young guys that know what they're doing. Any, your grandparents can actually build the coils for this because they just pop in. You don't have to wrap, you don't have to make sure it's straight, you don't have to do it, it automatically does everything for you. And like I said, it blows crazy clouds and good flavor at the same time. So there's that. Um, I don't have the other ones with me, but we have two Addies that we have. Um, we have our Heretic, you can kind of see the stab wood ones in the background. Um, and then we have an RTA, which is um, like, a, it's a single a coil, super um, flavor chasing RTA. Um, the reviews we've been getting back on that, they're basically saying it's the best RTA on the market uh, for the price. And that's about it, right? But that, that, that. Yep, that's it. So those are the seven products we've got right now. Um, and uh, we've talked to a bunch of distributors here um, this week and all of them want everything. So it should be, you know, here in Russia in the next couple of weeks. It's just got to, obviously got to ship it out from California to you guys and then it will be, you know, in the stores here. Um, but yeah, this, this, has been, this has been a lot of work. Um, a lot of sleepless nights going 20 hours. 20 hours a day for four months um, but um, the results will speak for itself and and people will start seeing um, people using it and they're gonna be like where, what is that where is that and the, the name is Envy so if you see this little symbol that's our collaboration company that we did with those four other people so that's it um, that's still me and three other guys that are just as talented if not more than me uh, thank you Russia um, like I said before this is my favorite country to come to um, the people here are wonderful you guys are wonderful thanks for always supporting us and as you know if you ever see us don't be afraid to come up say hi talk to us we love talking to you guys we we really do enjoy interacting with the with the community and um, subscribe to Viva La Cloud these are great guys as well they bring you a lot of good information um, and they're honest. I'll be. I'll, I'll, I'm going to tell you one thing. You guys are way more honest than most review companies. You know, good or bad, I don't mind. If you don't like it, say you don't like it and say why, because that might be something that somebody likes it for that reason. You know, it's a it's opinions, and you know, too many other reviewing companies always say, "Oh, give me some free stuff and I'll review it." I'm like, I don't. I, I want honest opinions. I want to know the good and the bad. And uh, you guys always give great honest reviews on stuff, and so I really appreciate you guys being honest because I think it brings the community up it helps everybody along the way so thank you guys and um, like I said you see us anywhere if you have questions you can email us you know people will tell you we always answer our emails we're always trying to be engaged as much as we can except when we're over here I can't answer my email too quickly but anyways thank you guys so much